Welcome to Thailand, a land filled with smiles and beauty. Thailand has the same land area as Spain or France. It consists of two extensive areas, a larger main section in the north and a smaller peninsular section in the south. Thailand is an independent country whose west coast is surrounded by Myanmar, Burma. North and east sides are taken up by Laos, Cambodia nestles to the southeast, and the Gulf of Thailand rests to the south. Thailand is famous for its unparalleled beauty, ranging from mountains to surreal, breathtaking beaches. Thailand is filled with buzzing energy and a diverse climate. The cities of Thailand are filled with buzz and smiling people. When should you be visiting surreal Thailand lands? The climates will answer for you. The climate secret behind Thailand's greenery. Thailand is no stranger to the diverse climate regions, where the country can feel warmth and bliss for 365 days. The freshness of raindrops spread the fresh aroma and serene atmosphere from May to October. And just by the start of November, the breeze turns into cold shivers. No doubt Thailand has got a name for having the eyes of tourists from November to February to celebrate nature's bounty, either on trails of mountains or tropical south lines. After all, who doesn't want a breath full of misty fresh air, right? The climate greatly supports the ever-flowing pure waterfalls, vibrant tree swarms, and numerous wildlife clusters. And beauty doesn't have a limit here. From north to south, islands like Phuket and Koh Samui and mountains like Doi Monjong open up a dream destiny for beaches and hiking lovers. Bangkok. But Bangkok's array of lush environments makes you feel like you are in another dimension. Bangkok, also known as Krong Thep, is the capital of Thailand. Its unique ancient traditions blended with modern beauty is a sight to behold. Bangkok is a metropolitical area that embraces 10 million people in it. Chao Phraya River winds through Bangkok, displaying historic temples on one side and stunning modern skyscrapers on the other. Before diving into the surreal beauty of Bangkok, let's take a step back and indulge in its history. Bangkok was a small trading center of Siam in the 15th century. In the 18th century, Bangkok rose to a capital level and evolved into the bustling city we know today. Although each part of Thailand is beautiful and the epitome of elegance, the landmarks entail the blooming cultural tapestry. The iconic landmarks are not just places to see, but feel the celebration of heritage and traditions within each intricate detail. Grand Palace, Wat Phrakayu, one of Bangkok's most stunning and must-see places is the Grand Palace. The opulent Grand Palace in Bangkok is the memory of Thai kings. This royal residence is the talk of the town for the exalt of the Emerald Buddha, Thailand's most respected religious element. Wat Pho. Just a short stroll from the palace is Wat Pho, a temple famous for its wide collection of Buddha statues and an ethereal 46 meter long reclining Buddha. The intricate design and stunning visuals are a testament to Thailand's craftsmanship. Wat Pho embodies spiritual sanctuary and has various centers for Thai massages and medicine. Chao Phraya River. The Chao Phraya River is the roll stealer. It is not only a means of transportation, but is the oxygen of Bangkok. You can ride a cruise and enjoy the bustling city and historical sites along the riverbanks. How beautiful is that? Bangkok is famous for its historical areas and how ancient and modern have merged to create an ethereal city. Modern Bangkok embraces towering skyscrapers, bustling malls, and a great hub for business and e-commerce. Chatuchak Market. Are you a shopping enthusiast? Then hop into Chatuchak Market for a shopping spree. It is one of the world's largest marketplaces with thousands of stalls selling everything from clothing antiques to pets. It's a shopper's paradise. At night, the view of Bangkok City is the most beautiful. The lights project a beautiful glow in the darkness of night, hinting at the lively nightlife in Bangkok. Phra Nakhon Si Ayutthaya. It is located about 85 kilometers north of Bangkok. Ayutthaya is nestled at the confluence of three rivers, the Lopburi, the Pasak, and Chao Freya. It makes it a prime location for trade and transportation. Temple Ruins. Do you love exploring ruins? Ayutthaya is, for you, a city surrounded by stunning Buddhist temples. Many ornate temple ruins characterize it. Wat Phra, Si Sanfet, Wat Manhathat, and Wat Rachaburana are some of Ayutthaya's most visit-worthy temple ruins. Historical Park. Did you know? Ayutthaya is a UNESCO World Heritage Site due to its various temple ruins that are well-preserved. 
This ancient city's park is a tourist spot with vast temples, statues, and other historic structures. Chiang Mai. Chiang Mai is located in northern Thailand. It is one of the largest cities, known for its rich history and natural beauty surrounding it. The tall mountains add another layer of beauty. Chiang Mai stretches to 700 kilometers north of Bangkok. It was the capital of the Lana Kingdom. It has a diverse culture consisting of Chinese, Burmese, and Thai. Wat Phra Sing. Wat Phra Sing is one of the most famous temples in Chiang Mai. It constitutes rare architecture of the Lana Kingdom and the revered Buddha image, Doi Suthep. A mountain located just outside the city, Wat Phra, the Doi Suthep is a stunning temple with beautiful views. The view from above the mountains is just ethereal. Elephant Nature Park. Thais believe that elephants and cats are majestic and peaceful creatures. The Elephant Nature Park is filled with rescued elephants, where visitors can interact with these large creatures. Thanks to the mountains, Chiang Mai is the best spot for picnics and hiking. It also has beautiful national parks like Doi Inthanon. Ethereal Rainforests in Thailand. Natural beauty has its place. And in Thailand, it seems as if nature has made a home here. Rainforests occupy western and southern regions of Thailand, inhabiting areas like the Malay Peninsula, the Andaman Sea Coast, and the mountainous terrain in the north. Thailand's rainforest, with its lush beauty, attracts tourists like magnets. Some national parks, like Khao Sok and Khao Yai, are famous for their exotic flora and fauna. These are the tourist hubs to enjoy nature, observe wildlife, and immerse themselves in the beauty. Thailand and its pristine beaches. What's better than a beach on a hot summer day? Nothing. Thailand is famous for its pristine beaches that provide a relaxing atmosphere. Phuket, Krabi, and Koh Samui provide a serene environment. Tourists can relax, bathe, and enjoy water sports. And that's not all. There are spa centers for visitors who can relax and enjoy a stress-free tour. The turquoise or clear water of beaches with sand is the best way to soak in the distinct smell and atmosphere of the sea. History. Wars. Thailand has also suffered from some treacherous conflicts that transitioned into wars as well. It happened both within the country and outside, and all these wars had an undiminished impact on the country. 1. Ayutthaya-Laos Wars, 1648-1700 to First, the Ayutthaya War took place in the late 17th century, when the Ayutthaya Kingdom, a Siamese power, intervened in the conflict with the Lao Kingdom. The reason behind this firefog was the territory control. But in the end, the war resulted in the expansion of the Ayutthaya Kingdom. 2. Burmese-Siamese Wars, 16 the 19 the centuries. After that, Burmese led up to Siamese Wars where the debates and conflicts bred centuries-long war series. At one place, Burmese was invading. On the other hand, Siamese was content in holding the sovereignty with full force. In the end, the region's geopolitical landscape experienced a new structure. 3. Boring Treaty War, 1855 to 1856. Well, a year-long war can actually impact too much? In the case of the Bowring Treat War, Britain and Siam were shaking each other's trading and foreigners' rights like no tomorrow. However, the war blew up with a sharp flame and faded away, giving Siam's international relations a 180-degree turnover. 4. French-Siamese War 1893. There came a crucial war between Siamese and Franco, where Thailand got in between the conflicts. The French wanted to expand their empire, which gave the cession of Lao territories to French Indochina. 5. World War II and Japanese Occupation, 1941 to 1945. Thailand was also under the scorching pressure of Japanese forces during World War II and also got under their control. However, the Thai government succeeded in standing out from the challenges and got to shoulder with the Japanese government. 6. Indochina Wars and Proxy Conflicts, 1950s to 1970s The resilience in World War II wasn't easy to ignore. Thailand also lent their hand to the Cold War years, where they stepped forward to be with anti-communist forces, majorly in Cambodia, and loads during the spreading conflicts of Indochina. 7. Southern Insurgency 2.004 Present During all the hard times, Thailand showed great captivity in dealing with all the ups and downs. However, the southern insurgency in southernmost provinces still lived in the tropical land with social and political issues. The governmental issues are also brimming due to historical harshness, 
which is nearly impossible to deny. Chapter Customs and Traditions Thailand is geographically diverse and has a beautiful bouquet of various traditions, beliefs, and practices that have evolved over centuries. Thailand has a mixture of traditions with major influences from its neighbors, India, Cambodia, and China. It has ingrained all these traditions and cultures into a unique cultural fabric. Likewise, the most obvious of these influences is Buddhism, specifically the Theravada strand. The memorable teachings of Buddha have impacted all walks of Thai society. The country's landscape is filled with glistening stupas and statues of Buddha in several postures, symbolizing certain aspects of his teachings. In the early morning, as its sun rises, lines of monks make their way through the streets, having alms bowls in hand. There is an unbreakable bond between the spiritual and the mundane spheres, as lay people offer food and other essentials to monks. Unquestionably, dance and music are vital threads in Thailand's melting pot of cultural tapestry. With fluid body motions, facial expressions, and intricate hand movements, they tell untold and unheard stories in the shape of Thai dance, which is known as Ramaswarn. These dances often paint a picture from the Ramakian, the Thai version of Ramayana, or other notable folk tales and legends. However, not only do the grand performances or festivals thoroughly define Thai culture, but everyday life is also deeply immersed in rich traditions. For instance, the age-old culture of giving and receiving with the right hand. It is deemed as the clean hand, or the Y, a kind gesture of greeting owing to pressing palms together. One remarkable aspect of Y is the depth of bowing, which shows the status or age of the person one is confronting. Similarly, Thailand's artistic heritage is vividly shown in its traditional craft, ranging from silk weaving with artistic patterns that date back centuries to pottery, wood carving, and creative gold and silver craftsmanship. Thai artisans carry rich legacies that have come down to them through generations. Chapter Thai Cuisine and Dressing Most people might binge on pizza and burgers, but when it comes to Thai cuisine, there is no going back to other food choices. The hustling streets in Bangkok have been eye candy to most tourists here. And when it comes to the aroma and delightful taste, no person can go without an astounding reaction. Dishes like pad thai, shrimp soup, tom yong gung, and sum tom bring up the zesty taste of fire. Stir-fried noodles, crushed peanuts, and sour limes bring a layer of excitement with its spicy and tang blend. Thai people love to experience new tastes and spiciness to soothe their taste buds. Therefore, whether galangal, kaffir lime leaves, or papaya salads, they find the combo that can give a quick taste burst. Just like that, Thai people don't leave any way around in their dressing to bring the moment of excitement. The traditional yet colorful dressing style of Thai heads is the focus-catching element with the use of silk and cotton which gives applause to the country's progressive textile heritage. There is more to the adventure in the styling of Thai people. They have also given names to the clothing of both genders, for example, Fa Nung for women and Chut Thai for men. This type of dressing contributes to giving applause to the traditional heritage and culture that holds deep intricate and is mostly worn on special occasions. Another reason for astonishment is spirit houses in Thailand, which can be found everywhere whether at home, business, or public places, these structures are the main part of Thai people's religious activities, which are dedicated to the spirits and deities they believe can offer them protection and blessings. Thai people also love sports and celebrate their energy through the art of eight limbs called muay. Well, you must think this is the kind of marital art of boxing, right? It's more than that. Muay Thai competitions are the epitome of Thai culture and tradition. It also includes the practice of respect and discipline, where skills and virtues are cherished. Thailand's impressive culture and people's hospitality. Imagine having shackles of culture that could constrict each action. You won't want to be a part of that culture, right? But Thailand's culture has some rules that might look strange but shine and switch the beam of ethics and respect. One of these practices is don't touch the head, which is restricted to touching or ruffling other people's hair. You might react confused, but it's because the head is meant to be the most private part, which should not be touched without reason, or just for fun. Or even you will need to apologize if you ever touch it. You will need to become more responsible in Thailand without any doubt, even in anger, because it's even considered an extremely bad act to raise your voice even for a minute. Just remember Jai Yen Yen, cool heart, 
instead of Jiron, Hot Heart, is the solution to all conflicts. That way, you're bound to overcome your urge to turn into a violent cat. It is because Thailand always values ethics and a compound effect of respect among each person, whether they're strangers. You will be surprised by some more traditions that ensure the ripples of respect and care. You're not allowed to walk at home with shoes, nor can you dare to point at someone. Yes, it's true. Being the advocates of spirituality and ethical relations, Thai people walk barefoot in business places, templates, and at home. And the restriction on raising your voice wasn't enough. You must avoid all gestures of offending someone to stay far from any dishonor. Whether it's a person from the royal family, a monk, pictures, or generally any person, Thai people keep themselves from pointing at someone. Instead, they bend their hands downward with fingers pointing towards the floor and palms facing upwards. So, don't point anyone there whenever you plan to travel there. And yes, among all the ethical gestures, the one that most amazes people is that they duck down whenever they see two people in any conversation. It's such a mannerable custom that lets the people know that their conversation is respected and apologized for disturbance in this manner. The same goes for blocking anyone's vision unintentionally. Isn't this all beautiful? In the heart of Southeast Asia, Thailand's beauty is undeniable. However, the people truly encapsulate the essence of Thailand's beauty. They are warm-hearted and have an infectious spirit of joy, representing the nation's true soul. Thai interactions have the concept of Sanuk. It is more than just fun, as it revolves around seeking joy in shared moments. They believe in community dance and simple family meals. They cherish every experience and share happiness. Tourists and visitors often remember Thailand's universal sense of hospitality. The hospitality ranges from bustling urban centers to serene village pathways. In Thailand, one meets with genuine, warm smiles and eagerness to assist. Vendors on the streets, monks, children playing by the roads, and every individual adds to this aura of warm welcome. There is a deeper, more profound sentiment of Namjai behind these everyday interactions, which means water from the heart. Another integral part of Thai culture is the gesture of Wai. It is not merely a greeting and a symbol. However, why is an embodiment of sheer respect. Chapter, Thailand's cultural events. Nestled in Southeast Asia, Thailand has cultural diversity and rich traditions. Today, we embark on a journey through Thailand's cultural tapestry by delving into some of its most captivating events. Thailand's events vividly depict its cultural vibrancy, from lively water fights to serene river festivals, from vibrant lantern displays to ghostly masquerades. Event 1. Songkran Festival Our first stop is the Songkran Festival, a grand celebration held every April. At its core, Songkran marks the traditional Thai New Year as a time for reflection, family reunions, and spiritual renewal. The most exhilarating aspect of this festival is the nationwide water fights symbolizing cleansing and the ushering of the New Year. People armed with water guns take to the streets, and what may seem like chaos is, in reality, an act of unity and a delightful display of the Thai spirit. The water is often infused with fragrant herbs and flowers, making it a symbolic and refreshing ritual. Event 2. Loi Krathong In November, we are transported to the serene beauty of the Loi Krathong Festival. The event, held on the night of the full moon, is a symbolic gesture of gratitude to the water spirits. Thai people release exquisitely crafted krathongs onto rivers and lakes. These small floating vessels are adorned with candles, incense and flowers, creating a breathtaking tableau. It's a moment of stillness and reflection as participants offer their respect to the life-sustaining element of water. The sight of thousands of krathongs adrift on the water, illuminated by the soft candlelight, is truly mesmerizing. Event 3. Yipeng Lantern Festival Chiang Mai hosts the awe-inspiring Yipeng Lantern Festival, coinciding with Loi Krathong. Thousands of sky lanterns are released into the night sky, symbolizing the release of worries, ill fortunes, and the ascent of one's hopes and dreams. The mesmerizing display creates a sense of wonder and unity among those in attendance as they collectively partake in this visual symphony of light. The spectacle not only serves as a beautiful visual treat, but also embodies the Thai belief in the interconnectedness of humanity and the cosmos. Event 4. Phi Takon, Ghost Festival Venturing to the province of Loe, 
we encounter the Fitakon, also known as the Ghost Festival. This unique celebration is inspired by a local Buddhist tale. During Fitakon, participants don colorful masks, participate in spirited music and dance, and dress as ghosts. The vibrant and somewhat eerie spectacle is not just an occasion for revelry, but a fascinating cultural reenactment. It exemplifies how the Thai people weave their history and folklore into lively celebrations that are both entertaining and profound. Event 5 Thai New Year Western New Year As the year draws to a close, Thailand joins the global celebrations of the Western New Year on December 31st. The festivities include grand fireworks displays that paint the night sky with brilliant colors and vibrant street parties that come alive with music and dance. Major cities like Bangkok become a beacon of joy where locals and tourists alike come together to bid farewell to the old year and welcome the new with open arms. The universal spirit of hope and renewal is palpable, transcending borders and cultures. Event 6, Royal Plowing Ceremony. Our cultural journey culminates with the ancient Brahmin ritual known as the Royal Plowing Ceremony, taking place each May. Attended by the Thai King, this event symbolizes the beginning of the rice growing season, a crucial aspect of Thailand's agricultural heritage. The ceremony includes the symbolic plowing of the soil and the sowing of seeds. It underscores the deep connection between the Thai people and the land that sustains them, emphasizing the importance of agriculture in the nation's history and culture. Chapter Political Relations You have been watching Thailand's diverse culture, traditions, and climate. But does its diversity end here? No. Thailand has left no stone unturned in bringing political serenity through its organized government structure. The green country is run on constitutional monarchy, where the king remains the head of the state. But there is executive, legislative, and judicial work under the king. The prime minister manages all responsibilities as the head of the government, and the legislative is part of the National Assembly, which also gets a spotlight through it. Moreover, there are a plethora of political parties, such as the Few Thai Party, the Democrat Party, and the Bum Jai Thai Party, that represent their own idea of the democratic landscape of the country. Thailand's Few Thai Party, known for its populist stance, has established an alliance with 10 other political parties, some of which were previously aligned with the military, in an effort to break a three-month-long political impasse and form a fresh government. This announcement was made on Monday, just one day before a parliamentary vote to select a new prime minister. Meanwhile, Thaksin Shinawatra, the founder of Few Thai and a former prime minister, is preparing to return to Thailand after 15 years of self-imposed exile. As per the reports, Few Thai is likely to put forward real estate tycoon Sretha Thavisin as the country's next leader. To bring more stability to the political virtues of Thailand, the military also takes part, which has given noticeable influence in the country's run. The combination of civilian government and military cops has been putting in all efforts to release all the stress from crucial issues. But still, there have been phases of protests and debates against certain political decisions or demands. However, these dynamics have been playing a cornerstone in regulating the political balance and acknowledgement of civil interests as well. To be honest, the royal family has made all the systems directed to the maintenance of the culture of monarchy and well-deemed law systems. And of course, how could we forget the amazing civil law legal system? On one side, the king has a greatly acquired position, whereas Thailand also conducts elections for national assembly, senate, and local political professionals. The reinforcement of well-developed diplomatic relations is the byproduct of fair parliamentary and local elections. Still, it isn't only noticed within the country, but also has been making good ties among the other countries of South Asia. Cambodia, Laos, and Myanmar are Thailand's neighbors who are enjoying the country's diplomatic behavior and negotiations in the long run. Moreover, Thailand is also a member of ASEAN, the Association of Southeast Asian Nations, and has been actively participating in regional dialogues. Chapter Thailand's Socio-Economic Factors When we talk about socio-economic factors all around the world, Thailand is one of those countries that has been successful in boosting the economic and industrial revolution within a few years of founding, which resulted in a smooth change from an agrarian economy to a competitive hub. The ASEAN Economic Community Contributor has a pipeline of exports around South Asia in electronics, textiles, automotive products, and agricultural goods. 
The economic growth of tropical paradise isn't only dependent on trading or industrial bliss, but actually how one can forget the contribution of uncomparable culture, vibrant landscapes, and nature's feast from corner to corner in most cities. Tourism is the silver lining to the economic disparities in most areas of Thailand. Despite having blunt agriculture opportunities and urban bloom, Thailand still faces economic challenges. The economic leverages from tourism, like the contribution to GDP and more employment opportunities, have also led to a downfall. Just like Maya Bag and Kofi Phi is always brimming with tourists, which also results in environmental degradation, pollution, etc. Due to this, wildlife and natural habitat are on the edge of destruction. Moreover, the national resources can be swept up with continuous development to attract more tourists. So, this situation can't be put under the rug. The beautiful landscape of Thailand and flowy rivers can be seen during these developments. And one main thing, what about the soaring prices? The more tourists there are, the more commodities will get far from the reach of hands. It means just to give amenities to tourists, the locals will to be left without any facilities. Seems like cruelty, right? However, Thailand's government is not sitting relaxed after thinking about these issues. Maya Bay was closed to be revamped in 2018, and it was actually done to dilute the side effects of over-tourism. But for how long can it be done? This can happen to other areas too. Therefore, Thailand is keeping a keen eye on other areas to clean up any more routes to similar conditions. The more inspiring part is that Thailand is also collaborating with NGOs and some local communities to bring the facilities of ecotourism to their bright fortune. This way, tourists will be happy to visit places, along with taking care of the local environment and culture. The ecotourism can be the perfect choice to represent the traditions and uniqueness of Thai values to give tourists a lifetime memorable experience. So, neither tourists will ripple back, nor will local communities be left behind with many disadvantages. It's important to take care of both sides of a scenario. And obviously you might be thinking, what about marine protection? Thai government never stepped back to focus on wildlife and citizens altogether. And therefore, they're developing more marine sanctuaries. They are also collecting funds to maintain all the projects they will initiate. The planning is intact, for sure. The same goes for maintaining hygiene and clean roads, especially in urban areas and parks, to diminish pollution and give a better lifestyle to locals. So it's not only about attracting tourists, but unlocking a wave of. Similarly, conservation initiatives are also augmenting with time. The Thai government is establishing marine sanctuaries to protect delicate coral reefs and marine life. They also provide more funds for stress-free living with the protection of heritage, culture, and values. However, it is worth mentioning that the country is not only unleashing economic soar through the huge employment opportunities in agriculture and the growth of rice rubber or other products, but the streamline of education and healthcare heights have been bewitching in recent years. Recently, the country has invested significantly in infrastructure projects, such as mass transit systems in major cities and improvements to transportation networks. The accessible medical services and undivided education systems around the country are the clearest routes to advancement and revolution in the coming days as well. For instance, Thailand is already in the lead to handle COVID-19 with their extensive measures and groundbreaking efforts to relieve its people from this hurdle. The Thai government took effective actions such as collaboration with organizations and quick planning to vaccinate each person in their country. The vaccination was initiated in February 2021 while incorporating numerous brands like Sinovac, AstraZeneca, and Sinopharm. The unbreakable management and seamless procedures through all hospitals and vaccination centers made it possible to achieve boosted immunity among the population, to break the shackles of isolation, and revive tourism and economic hustles quickly. Moreover, the achievements also include the Economic Pumper Project, Eastern Economic Corridor, EEC, that was kick-started with the ambition of reshaping Thailand's eastern region into an evergreen economic zone. Its design and structure were appropriate to magnetize foreign investments and industrial triumphs in sectors like aerospace, robotics, biotechnology, and digital technology. The country doesn't only care about building infrastructure and tech-based systems, but other projects, such as the Rice Subsidy Program, which is also called Rice Bowl of Asia, to spark the efforts of farmers by purchasing their rice at guaranteed prices. Isn't this kind of this country's government? 
It's not the end yet. Thailand's government also took measures to provide affordable health services 30 baht scheme in the 2000s, which meant that patients would need to pay only 30 baht $1, for medical help. The project was mainly meant to support remote or areas that are often overlooked. The affordability measures aren't for only locals, but a good amount of expatriates got attached to Thailand, not only for its culture and eye-catching landscapes, but also the low-cost lifestyle. Also, the rich cuisine diversity plus the strong urge to develop with time has been convincing people to transition from tourists to residents. Bangkok, Chiang Mai and Phuket are some destinations that keep people attracted, more or less due to the government's green initiatives, such as encouraging people to have balanced lifestyles and choices. Activities that can favor the environment and leap over all technologies to not only endorse digitization and tech hubs, but also reduce the effect of industries on nature. I mean, what else do you want in a country to live for your whole life? Recently, the Ralph Grocery Division of the Kroger also decided to achieve zero hunger and waste among the communities of Thailand. The appreciable step has also achieved several milestones in the run and implemented several ways to bring about the final result on the table by 2025. With this initiative, more shop owners and responsible people have aided their share. One more praise Thailand deserves is for taking further steps in addressing urbanization and gender bias issues. Social welfare and government professionals have been promoting more programs, ideas, and implications to protect the whole society from any inequality or escalated unequal economic disparity. But while delving into this complex web of economic development, the political affairs, corruption, and environmental challenges have been distorting the goals of stability and fair development. In the meantime, the brimming trade and foreign investment is the top-tier stability factor within the grapples with environmental issues such as deforestation, pollution, and biodiversity conservation. Believe it or not, the country's resilience and unity in combating all struggles is one of the main highlights that minimizes the effect of negative encounters. Early warning signs, community engagement, and pre-preparations decode the strength beyond boundaries.